fire rate seductor. The fire rate seductor will function once the line is charged. You charge the line to a minimum of 60 psi and up to 200 psi. When you have water in the line, you open the line and get water flowing. Once the water is flowing, you open the ball valve. Once the ball valve is open, the hose that is attached to this will be checked for suction. Once you check the suction and you have suction, you insert the wand into the bucket and go in a circular motion to suck the fire rates up through here. When you're finished with the operation, you pull the wand, watch the clear tube that no more fire rates is flowing into the, into the inductor, then you shut the ball valve down, then you shut this, the valve down on the nozzle. If there's any additional powder left in the hose, you blow it out with an SCBA bottle. Okay, the components of the fire ice inductor. This is the aspirator. The inductor is attached to the nozzle. The components of the inductor, you have a gasket, a gasket, and you have a cone. This is what creates the venturi inside of the inductor. When you're finished with the inductor, these components must be taken apart and washed with fresh water. In addition, you can take this off, and you will wash down through the ball valve, clearing out all the fire rates in here and in here to make sure it's back in service. When you're finished, you put it back together, drop the cone in, drop the gasket in, put it back on the bale. Once this is back on the shutoff, you want this to stay vertical the whole time. This is the way it's supposed to stay. Throw the aspirator back on, and you're back in service. Ready to rock.